Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about cleaning, decorating for Christmas, and then some Thanksgiving food prep and maybe some other stuff, I don't know, but that's just kind of what I have on my to-do list today. I finally have some energy. I'm pretty much like not sick anymore. I have some energy today that I haven't had in like two weeks. First things first though, before I start decorating, I want to get all of these dishes, just clean the kitchen up a little bit. The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder this morning um but i'm gonna give the girls a little surprise <laughs> do you see it close your eyes <laughs> okay here's hazel's what is it what is it elsa and here's grace lynn's <laughs> here's your ornaments oh, <laughs> i knew I she was gonna do that them. Yes, those are Dee Dee's. These are mine. My oh, star. you remember you made this in preschool? Yeah, I made this. So and cute. I made this too from God. We're pulling out Dee Dee's mini tree items. This is your skirt for your tree, honey. Hey, look. So Hazel didn't have a little baby tree. Graceland oh. has one. It's up on the I table right there. So I bought Hazel this little mini tree with lights. And then I got her. Here, let's dump your ornaments out because we're going to put them on. I also got her a red yeah. star. This is all from Walmart. And then this cute little pink tree skirt. So I'm going to decorate their trees with them and then we're going to put them in their rooms. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to Yet for all my son. 
am done for the night. It is almost 9.30 and I just got done decorating. I got pretty much, well, yeah, I got everything done other than like outside decor. I'm gonna do that another day and another time. Patrick did hang lights on our house though, um, which is great because I wanted those hung. He did not get to hang the ones on the tree um, because it got dark. That's the thing about what sucks about working nights is that by the time he gets up, if he gets up early, he has to get up early to be able to catch some daylight, <laughs> to be able to like, do things outside. The only thing that I didn't get around to is our main tree in the living room. We are gonna do this, not tomorrow, but the next day, because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And currently, I'm busting out my baby proofing locks because I had a ponytail on this cabinet right here which oh my gosh this cabinet I just have so much like random stuff in that is not it's not safe I don't even know what's in there so anyways the point is is that Hazel discovered how to undo this ponytail even if I tie it like a crazy way she can still get it undone so I'm gonna pop one of these locks on there look at her she's already coming over here trying to get into it but yeah this should keep her out of there another spot i want to lock up are my desk drawers okay well that was successful keeps my drawers shut all you do to open it is just flick it open like that and the drawer will open obviously and then pop it back in when you realize you've been locked out She's going to try and rip it off. Yep, it's not for Hazel, so we're going to keep it shut. I got these child proofing locks off of Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. I have used them for random things around the house, but, you know, they've come in handy, and they were pretty inexpensive. This right here I came up with when I was at Dollar Tree. I just bought these ornaments from Dollar Tree, and then I, I don't know, I just hung them like this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wanted to do like a garland, um, but I don't want, it's gonna make a mess on the counter and I don't want that. Now I have my pretty tree. This is the tree in our front room. We have two. I call this like my bougie tree because I decorated it more, I guess just like uh, aesthetically pleasing than I do the other one. The other one's like the family tree. This one's, pinks and wine color and gold um just super cute and girly i wanted to make my food for thanksgiving tonight or today but i just i didn't get around to that um so i'm gonna just wake up early and make it it's not hard or anything it's really just very simple things but i'll be sharing those tomorrow and then maybe a little bit of thanksgiving i will resume this vlog tomorrow. <laughs>
All right, so it is the next day. We are about to put together our big family tree. Um, Thanksgiving was yesterday. We had a great Thanksgiving. And oh, don't put that around your neck, that's dangerous. Now I have my two little elves. Now and then my little baby sister, Alfie. I, I actually have three little elves. Graceland, Graceland is right, she pointed that out. I got three little elves, one's yeah. gonna kick to help, and the other two are gonna help me put the tree together. <laughs> Patrick's outside right now hanging up the rest of our Christmas lights, um, cause he didn't finish the one night cause I said it got too dark. So anyways, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Wait, I want the first time. You wanna listen to Elsa? No, the first time forever. Yeah, that's the Elsa, right? Like no, Anna says that. Oh, Anna? Okay. Yeah. The girls the are obsessed with what? Frozen right now. Christmas tree. Yeah, it took a really we do long time. Stay at grandma's. Yes, we are going to crafts right now at grandma's, is what Graceland said. We're heading to my we mom's. She's telling you, Daddy put the lights up on this tree. He put a couple other lights, and then Mommy's gonna hang up some. I actually plan to decorate the outside of the house either tomorrow. Like I'm gonna do the porch because um, I wanted to do that. <laughs> Because yeah, I can. I We're gonna head to my mom's house for like a little craft night. I guess we kind of started this annual crafting <laughs> night at my mom's, mostly for the kids. Um, but I think we'll do some crafts too, like some ornaments. And I think she has some like snowman, yeah, snowman. type. Yeah, did snowman. Did she tell you that, Gigi? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So we're gonna go have a fun little craft night at grandma's. So we stopped at this place that always decorates every year for Christmas. They put out all these lights. I didn't know they had already did it, but I saw it on the way to my mom's. So we're driving through. Hey, this is where me and Grandma came. Mommy, this is where me and Grandma looked at the tree. Oh, Grandma took you here before? Uh-huh. Look at those deer over there, the reindeer. Hey, look at that house. You see the lights, sis? Mommy, yeah. we the house. Nice. Yeah. That's a house. Okay. Outside. Outside. Yeah, outside. There's lights outside. This is where me and Grandma came in there. This is the train Gigi's talking about. <laughs> this would be really pretty to walk around at night, wouldn't it? 
That's cute, that little bridge over there. Um, it was actually a lot of fun. I think I was the one who had the most fun out of everyone. I don't know why, but I really, really enjoyed making the crafts. I pretty much made Hazel's. Graceland did hers. And then um, I pretty much made Hazel's because, you know, she's two. She was not interested whatsoever. She was interested for like a couple minutes, but after that she wasn't. So I'll show you guys the cute little... Uh, crafts that we made like I seriously had so much fun and enjoyed it so much I think I need to start like crafting but then I won't I don't like I won't prioritize that I would only do it if someone like invited me over like my mom did to do it like I'm not gonna do it in my own spare time um but it was like really it was really relaxing and therapeutic and fun for me so these are Hazel's crafts that I made I decorated the little mailbox like this on the top and then I put her name on there they open up I thought these would be cute to put a little gift in when it's like December rolls around to kick off you know Christmas month or something like that I don't know like Christmas Eve gift I'm not sure yet but they both got to decorate their mailboxes so this is Graceland's she chose very glittery shiny put Gigi on it very cute Graceland's snowman ornament that she decorated and Hazel's which I did but hers kind of looks like a cat that looks like a cat with whiskers. We also made these cute little Santas out of a jar. And I'm thinking of like a cookie jar. Not a cookie jar, a candy jar. <laughs> like a seasonal, you know, candy jar. It wasn't going to work with hot glue. I need to use like super glue. But I'm thinking of gluing the lid into the hat so that I can just untwist the hat and not have to take the hat off to open the jar. This was the one... <laughs> that Gigi made and then technically Hazel's Hazel did not make it I did <laughs> I like spent a lot of time on this one but this is the one I made put a cute little bow and I did like pine cones and this cute like flower thing on mine now we have two little cute Santa cookie candy why do i keep saying cookie jars we also did a cute foot painting thing um they were going to be mistletoes but they're drying at my mom's right now i just have to mention this but i feel like my bump changes so much and i don't know why but like i don't know compared to, this pregnancy is so different than 
all of my other pregnancy for so many reasons, but one of them is that my bump is like constantly changing and I don't know if it has to do with like the baby just constantly changing position, which that can't be because like she's like she's too big to be changing position where I would notice it in my belly shape that frequently, but last night um I felt huge movements, like I felt like butt and head movements and I they were like giant and I felt them all up here and then all of a sudden I felt like different movement down here. So I don't know if she like completely flipped herself. It was a little bit painful. But now my belly today is like so much more round. Um because normally it's not round. It's more like I don't know, stretched out. It's more like wide. I don't know. <laughs> but I just I don't know, I just noticed it today that I have more of a round belly when I woke up this morning and it feels different. I feel like I'm carrying her <laughs> differently today. So I don't know. Does anyone else's bump constantly change? I feel like mine never did. Like they would just, you know, gradually change as the weeks went on and get bigger and bigger. But some days I feel like I look five months pregnant for me, and then some days I feel like I look eight months pregnant, like I am. I also have um, an interior placenta this time around when in my other pregnancies I've always had a posterior, um, so my placenta was always in the back behind everything, but now when it's anterior, your placenta is in the front. I'm not sure how much that would affect the way my belly looks. I know it maybe possibly can and also the way that I feel and that I carry and the things I feel, uh, maybe that's why. I do not know, but it's just, it's interesting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I will, you did fall. <laughs> My gosh, my kids are very hyper right now for it being 10 o'clock at night. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.